charge of discharge of rhyme. Greedy comics, toys are hella sick, hella whackin' it. Take the bad hits, take the bad hits, start a mix. A subscribe machine for domains. And then just to be thorough, here's a size comparison from a different angle. Hey! Hey, what's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends figure review. I'm not a Marvel Legend, but the Star Wars 6 inch black series, The Force Awakens, Poe Dameron in his X-Wing fighter pilot gear. Gotta give a big thanks to local Pacifica legend Jaime for finding this figure for me. Thanks so much, man. You get a cool image of Poe Dameron right over there at the bottom. On the side it says Poe Dameron. And then on the back there's a read up. If you want to read it, pause it now and you can see he's number 7. Alright, let's get to it and crack this thing open. So here's Poe Dameron out of the packaging. A pretty cool figure figure. I'm very curious to know more about this character. I don't really read up any news articles about what's going on in the movie or whatever before I've seen the movie. I don't want to know too much. So I know he's an important character. I'm seeing him as the Han Solo of the new group. I don't know. We'll see! But anyway, the figure itself looks very good. We get some nice paint details. The sculpt looks pretty nice and we get some pretty cool accessories as well. So first off, he comes with this little blaster right here, which looks pretty good. Nice etched out detail. I really like this silver paint. Very nice and shiny. Looks pretty good. He does have a holster for it, which I like. I always like it when there's weapon storage, so you can put that right over there if you want to. The holster actually seems to have some nice paint detail on it. I think that's pretty sweet. And it fits into the right hand with the flesh, uh, and because he has two pairs of hands right here. He has a glove hand, and then he has the flesh hand, so the finger goes through the trigger hole right over there. He also comes with these interchangeable hands, and the finger, oh no, it goes right through the trigger hole right there too. Okay, so that looks pretty good. But anyway, looking at these hands right over here, I like these ones because they have the articulated hinged wrist over over there so you could rotate them side to side and you could hinge them up and down and then you could actually remove these oh, come on there it goes and then you could put on one of these fighter pilot black glove hands right there and these look pretty good too they're not very glossy like the Luke Skywalker one but they still look pretty nice with this etched out detail and the wrinkles right over there so I like that and then you can see both gloves on him right over there and these do not have the wrist joints that move up and down or swivel side to side he only rotates where they connect I like this head sculpt the only thing is is that the paint on the eyes just came out looking I don't know it, it, he looks arrogant as hell with his eyes half open like that like oh you want me to fly you want me to fly. I mean, really, I don't know. There's just something about it that just looks arrogant to me, right? Just half-open eyes always look arrogant. But he does have a really cool 5 o'clock shadow, and I think the sculpt for the hair looks really good. And the ears and everything looks pretty nice on this. I like the hair color. There's no shadowing or color variation right there in the hair. But it still came out pretty nice. Now, looking at the Target exclusive 2-pack version, I believe this is the same exact head sculpt. I think it's the same head sculpt. We get a lighter flesh color, though. A little bit less 5 o'clock shadow. I don't know. Are they the same? I think they are the same, man. If you look at the hair detail, yeah, it looks like it's the same thing. So this one does not have the arrogant look to it. Now this guy comes with his fighter pilot helmet, which is pretty cool looking, even though I don't really like it so much because it's just all black and I just don't really think, well, it's not all black, but you know, it's mostly black and I just don't think it's suiting for an X-Wing fighter pilot. I think they may have gotten confused with the reflective chrome color that you see him wearing. You know, I think that's what it looks like in the trailer anyway. It looks like a very metallic looking helmet, but you get some writing right over there on the side. And then the Target exclusive 2-pack has the white helmet, which I think is a lot more fitting. So to put on the helmet that he came with, you can see that you get that yellow visor and it goes right over his eyes. And I think that looks pretty cool. You know, it's not a terrible look. But I do think that this white helmet just looks better. I don't know. I just like this so much more. I just think that's just a lot more appropriate. I just think it fits in. Especially when you see him next to Luke Skywalker, you know. Like these guys do belong in the same team, you know, even though they're years apart. Now looking at the rest of the figure, I think Hasbro was very thorough with the amount of paint they added here. Especially for this vest and everything. And I like this little console piece right there. I really like this wash that we get over the white. I think that looks really good. Get some nice clean deco right over there, and then some text. Then looking on the back of it, you get more of that nice wash over it. Now, unfortunately, the orange part does not have that wash that we had gotten on the Luke Skywalker from Wave One of the Black series. So I kind of wish it had that. I like that added detail. But, you know, you get some nice rivets right through here, looking really nice. And one thing is that when you switch the arms out, it matches up very nicely. You can just see how that looks. It's very cool. And then you get some nice detail right over here, you know. So, a lot of nice little pieces. I do feel like this arm section over here, around the shoulder actually, is just really weird and thin. I feel like that's just too thin over there. It looks a little bit strange to me. The belt looks really nice. Nice silver paint apps over here. 
A lot of nice details in the sculpt, man. I like how everything's textured to it, you know? I think that looks just really, really cool. I really wish they used a darker orange color for this plastic right here. And then he has his boots, or his shoes anyway. He doesn't really have boots like how Luke Skywalker did, so we'll see more of that in the movie. And then he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Now, the articulation on this guy is okay, but I am bothered by the lack of head movement. You cannot get him to look up. I'm actually starting to strip the plastic right here from trying. There is a disc hinge in there, and it just, yeah, he cannot look up. Anyway, get him to look down a little bit. You do get side to side movement over here and no neck pivot. His shoulders move outward pretty far. You can move them forward. He doesn't have a bicep swivel or anything like that though. He does have an elbow bend right there. It meets at 90 degrees and it rotates side to side. We already went over the wrist articulation. He does have a diaphragm joint that turns side to side. You do get some diaphragm pivot in there and he can crunch forward and he can move back some. He also does not have a waist swivel. I wish he had a waist swivel. It looks like it's supposed to be there but nope and he does have the hip joints though so you can move his hips outward that much and he can kick forward pretty far he has the upper thigh swivel he has double jointed knees that bend in very nicely i like that and he also has an ankle that moves down up and it does have ankle pivot. This is a six inch scale figure, so Poe Dameron standing just a little over six inches tall. And then here's Poe Dameron standing next to the X-Wing fighter pilot Luke Skywalker from the Black Series along with the two-pack version of Poe over there. And you can see he's definitely taller than Luke as he should be and you can see that he's got a much brighter orange color in his X-Wing fighter pilot gear compared to Poe Dameron. Then here's Poe next to Finn as we see them side by side together in that one trailer and I think the height difference is pretty good between these two. And then here's Poe Dameron next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider. Man. Okay, I know by now I shouldn't ask you if I could fly the X-Wing, but can I at least wear the helmet? Oh! That was mean. So all in all, I think this is a pretty good figure. I'm very happy to see another X-Wing fighter pilot figure. I do have my complaints, especially with the shoulders right there, but for the most part, I think it's a cool piece. I also have a complaint about the helmet. I think this is a cooler helmet right here for sure. But, I mean, it looks like this is supposed to be, what, red leader right here? We get blue leader right there. I don't know. We'll find out when the movie comes out. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right here if you want more shark in your face. If you're over the age of 18 or older, please check out the Patreon account. If you're any age, check out my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to JediInsider.com for the latest in Star Wars news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures. Posing action figures. Posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures. Crispy. Difficult, so I may need some heat.